Hey everyone, it's Lavender. Wait a minute. That's not right. Hmm. Oh, I got it. G'day, ladies and gentlemen. Wait. Still not right. Hmm. Oh! Hi, Art Frat. No. That's not it either. I got it. Welcome to Drawing with Charlotte. It is I, Charlotte, and I apologize for the cheesy intro, but I just had to since today we are doing the style challenge, and I will be drawing strictly in the style of YouTube artists, um, but there is another twist to it, and I will reveal that twist in a moment, but first, a very important announcement. As most of you guys know who watched my last video, I am going to be doing a Draw My Subscribers video for my 100 subscribers milestone, which we're getting really close, and I am super stoked. You guys are awesome. Um, if you would like to be featured, please email me a photo of yourself at drawingwithcharlotte at gmail.com. I will put it up on the screen. And if you email me, um, just make sure that you are okay with your face being on YouTube. It won't be put anywhere but YouTube. Um, and I just need it to be on screen so you guys can see who I'm drawing and, um, and see if I've captured the likeness. So if you are good with your face being on YouTube, please, please, please um, go ahead and submit a photo. So now the grand reveal of the twist. The twist is, not only will I be drawing in other artists' style, but unlike most style challenge videos, where people draw one image but in different styles, I will be drawing the artists in their own style. Um, if you don't understand what I'm trying to say, you will figure it out soon enough. So, without further ado, why don't we get into the video? Okay, so I will be linking the YouTube channels of all the artists mentioned in this video in the description. Just a quick note before we get officially started. Anyways, the first artists I decided to draw in their style were Stepha Socks and Adam Sketches, known on YouTube as Doodle Date. So... I had a lot of fun with these, um, and Steph's style tends to be more um, cartoony and really cute and stylized, whereas Adam's is more semi-realistic and kind of anime-like, um, but they're both amazing styles. I love both of them. Their art is incredible, um, and I had a lot of fun. The main challenges I had for this one was I had trouble finding reference photos of Adam's art of male characters. He tends to do female characters, which um, <clears throat> which was kind of, it wasn't really that much of a problem. I found some eventually. That was just a minor inconvenience in, because I was trying to draw a male character, obviously, and I couldn't find many references of those on his um, social medias. Also, um, I had some struggles with the medium. So Steph was pretty straightforward um, because she she really likes the brush pen, um, this brush pen that I actually have the exact brand, and she uses um, Ohuhu markers, which are similar to Copic markers. So I just used my Copic markers in that brush pen, and it was pretty simple. Adam's was a little bit harder. What happened with <clears throat> Sorry, what happened with Adams was that I had an issue with, he uses watercolor a lot, he's gotten into it recently, if you've been following their channel you'll know that, and he um, also, his, his other favorite medium is pencil, but I've noticed he hasn't used that very often, and I didn't want to just use pencil, I wanted to color it in. So, I decided to use watercolor. The only problem was this isn't watercolor paper. So I took a risk, and it turned out okay. I turned out, I, it didn't, the only problem I had was there was a fold that you'll see me trying to pat down right here. Um, there was like a weird little fold in the paper, and it buckled, but that's to be expected. I think overall they both turned out well. Uh, I had, um, I 
I had a lot of fun with both of these styles. I did have more trouble with Adams, but that's only because of the medium and the reference photos thing. Um, but both of these styles are really cute, and I really enjoy trying to replicate them. And I noticed that in the last couple videos um, on Doodle Date, Steph has been putting herself down because she thinks her style is not as good as Adam's. Um, but I think they're both amazing. So just, girl, keep doing what you're doing. Um, if you're somehow watching this, which would be crazy. Um, so that is Doodle Date. I had a lot of fun with them. So let's move on to the next artist I will be sketching. So my next artist is going to be Draw With Waffles. Um, some of you may know her. She is pretty, I'd say she has quite a few subscribers. Um, but her style, I really, really like her style. Um, normally she does a more uh, less realistic approach. She tends to draw younger girls. Um, but I just was trying to draw her, so I found a specific sketch on her, um, on her Instagram, and I drew it, and I had a lot of fun with this. I found it was one of the most similar ones to my style, actually, which came as a surprise. I wasn't expecting that, um, but I used ballpoint pen to ink because she really likes to sketch in ballpoint pen, and I, I used that for inking, and then Copic markers because I've seen her use Ohuhu, um, though she is mostly a digital artist. So that was a tiny problem, but it really wasn't that much of a problem. And I went back into Adam because uh, was, there's was something about it that I didn't like. Anyways, moving on, the next artist that I did was Casey Golden. I'm sure a lot of you know her. She is a cartoonist, and I love, love, love her style. Um, it's very simplistic and angular, but it's a really cute style uh, with a lot of shapes. And she wants to be a children's book illustrator. And I think these illustrations are perfect for children's book. But they're also just it's generally a beautiful style. Um, she uses watercolor. She's a watercolor artist. And I tried to use watercolor on this paper again. And this turned out better than Adam's did. Um, and it turned out good. Um... <laughs> The watercolor didn't actually buckle the paper, like, at all, which I was really surprised about that. Um, so, yeah, I just used microns, because I know she uses microns, and I used um, watercolor. I The only problem I had was the skin tone was a little bit off, but that's okay. And, of course, I could not draw Casey without a little ant friend, so I drew a cute little ant. Moving on, my next, um, my next one was... Jazza, and you guys know Jazza is a huge inspiration of mine. And I decided to draw in his more comic book, uh, semi-realistic style instead of his iconic um, profile pic style just because I haven't seen many people do the um, comic style and I figured I'd give it a shot. And honestly, I didn't like how this one turned out. I feel like something went wrong along the way. I think it was in the face. I feel like, I don't know. This one wasn't the best one I did. It was definitely not the best one I did. But it was, it was, it wasn't like awful. It was, it was fun. I wanted to give up halfway through. I'm like, I just want to scrap this video. <sighs> yeah. But I didn't give up because, <laughs> mostly because I, I was, I was working on that on Friday, and I'm like, well, I don't have time to get out an entire new video. So, in the end, it turned out okay. I had issues, and of course, I am nowhere near as skilled as Jazza is. But, in the end, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it turned out. My next artist that I'm going to be replicating her style is Lavender Town. I'm sure many of you know of Lavender Town, and I love her style. It's so cute. It's a cartoony style, and it's just, oh, I love it. But um, I thought at first, because it's super cartoony, it might be easier, and that was a fatal mistake. I realized that was a stupid thought, but it was just the thought I had. Um, I realize now how stylized and adorable and just detailed her art really is. And I couldn't just get away with 
anything quite so simple because it is very stylized and it's not as simplistic as, say, Casey Golden's style. And while all of these styles are amazing, I wouldn't choose them if I didn't like them. I'm, all, I'm subscribed to all these artists. Some of them were harder than others. And I thought this one would be one of the easier ones, and I was dead wrong. So this one turned out okay. I by no means replicated the style. It turned out really... Uh, it turned out okay. It didn't turn out as good as I would have hoped it would, but I think it looks really cute, and it doesn't look as cute as Lavender Town's drawings, but uh, it was good. Um, moving on, Bailey J. Um, recently, she started using a new art style, and I've got to say I love it. It's a cute little cartoony art style, and I had a lot of fun with it. The problem I had with this one was Bailey is a genius when it comes to Copic markers. I am not nearly as good with them. I had so much trouble shading, especially the hair. I went in with colored pencils because it looked like there was some colored pencil texture, but I am very inexperienced with colored pencils. Whew, this was a train wreck. Um, there, this was kind of... Uh, uh, it was kind of a train wreck, but, 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 it turned out good in the end. I th I really like how it turned out well. It turned out well in the end, even though it was kind of, seemed awful the whole way through. And I drew a little Mickey Mouse on her shirt because Bailey J, Disney, you know, how could I not? Um, And, yeah, so that is basically all for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you want to see me draw more artists in their style. And please send me photos so I can draw you guys. Alright, that's all for today. I love you guys. Bye!